Hey guys, welcome to another Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to Sonic. I've already ordered online in their app and basically I'm just going to go pick it up. So you go over here, I don't know if you can see, but you can go over here and you park in one of these little stalls and then you check in in the app. So I'm going to go over there, pull into one of the little stalls, check in on the app and then I'll turn my camera around um, so you can see, um, see me and see how it gets dropped off to you. Hey, it's cool how you um, you check into the stall number. The only bad thing is the stall number is a little bitty number in the very bottom, like left hand side of the screen. It's really tiny, so unless you really know where to look, you're not quite sure. So anyway, it popped up and and said enter your stall number on the app on the phone, and you type it in, and they uh, they give it a second, and then it pops up on the screen and says a name is on their way to bring you your food or something like that, and um, and yeah, so someone's heading my way. I think this is this person right now. Hey, how you doing? Thank you. Now, I can't say that that was the friendliest person in the world. She sounded like she did not want to be here. Like, eh, here's your order. Thank you. Whatever. Screw off go away that's what that's the attitude that i got from from that so whatever um you know hey i worked i worked foods i, I worked fast food a long time ago and then i worked food um like in a sit down restaurant food uh for a little while and i understand the frustration and boredom and busyness and all that stuff i get it but you know ultimately at the end of the day it's your decision whether you're happy at work or sad at work and i always chose to be happy at work because I was getting paid to be there and you know I had a job and um, you know some people don't so so I was always happy and I was always happy to, with my customers and always um, smiling and kind and not everybody's like that so anyway I'm going to sit up right here I think that's probably gonna blind people because it's really bright this direction but anyway I'll be right back Okay, so let me tell you what I ordered. So this is the garlic butter bacon cheeseburger, and it is, uh, it's supposed to be a burger with like garlic butter on there. I'll talk about the description. Um, and I ordered two wraps. One of them is a hickory barbecue crispy tender wrap, and the other one is a cheesy Baja crispy tender wrap. Don't know which one's which. They're really wrapped up really, really well. And this one is the Oreo Big Scoop Cheesecake Sunday. They also have it in like their, um, it looks like a blizzard. I don't know what it is. It's not a milkshake, but anyway. Um, but anyway, I'll tell you what's in that as well here in just a minute. I'm going to get it in the shade so it doesn't melt. So I'm going to get turned around and uh, point towards me, and then uh, I'll tell you details about everything and prices and all that stuff. I'll be right back. Hey, let me tell you about the, well, I can tell you the prices real quick. <laughs> Big long receipt. Um, the burger, the uh, garlic butter bacon burger was $6.99. The wraps were $1.99 each, and the Sunday, the big, uh, the Oreo Big Scoop um, Cheesecake Sunday was $3.99. My total before tax or anything was $14.96. So that was my total. So the wraps, I'm just going to read both of them. Um, the Hickory Barbecue is an all white, all white meat crispy tender wrapped in, uh, wrapped with hickory barbecue sauce, melty shredded cheddar cheese, and crispy shredded lettuce in a warm tortilla. And then the Baja Crispy Tender is all white, all white meat chicken tender, all wrapped, all wrapped up with zesty cheesy sauce, sorry, zesty cheese sauce, melty shredded cheddar cheese, and crispy shredded lettuce. So one of them has barbecue, one of them has a cheese sauce. That, that's the difference. So let me see if I can figure out which one's which. Okay, I see the chicken in this one. And it looks like this one has a cheese sauce, okay. That's the one that was kind of in front of me. And I'll, maybe I can hold it up if I can. And this one's definitely barbecue. Okay. So the barbecue one, oh yeah, I can smell it now. The barbecue looks like that. It's got just a lot, ton of barbecue sauce in it. I like it that they wrapped it up though. It's pretty well wrapped where it's not like falling out the end. Cause I've had wraps before that were just falling apart. I like the barbecue they use. It's a sweet, um, with just slightly smoky barbecue sauce, but it's a sweeter sauce. Not bad. If you like, um, 
a chicken tender with barbecue, like you, you like to dip your chicken nuggets or whatever in the um, barbecue sauce, I think you'd really, really like this. The sun is just like killing me. No, it's not bad. It didn't change much. That's really, really good. I like that. I don't know who's honking. This truck like literally pulled in next to me, but didn't need to, but they did. Um, this one, it looks like they wrapped it wrong, just to be honest with you. It should have been like this, and they wrapped it like this. You know, it's just, I don't know. The chicken just doesn't fit the way they wrapped it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat it the way I think it should be eaten, not the way they wrapped it. I'll show you what I mean. <laughs> See the cheese sauce in there? Yeah, they put the chicken tenders like this when they should have put them like this. That's not bad. It doesn't really... All I'm really getting is the chicken flavor. Hmm. There we go. That, um, first of all, the this one was a lot crisper than the first one. The barbecue one really wasn't crispy. This one's good and crispy. The, um... The cheese tastes like a cheese sauce you would get on like, um, if you ever had loaded tater tots or loaded uh, french fries, this is like a nacho cheese sauce that they would put on top of like a, it's a, it's a runny so uh, cheese sauce. Of course I have to drop cheese in my belly. It wouldn't be a day without dropping something. Um, I like that. I actually like the flavor of the cheese. It really just depends on what kind of mood you're in. If you're wanting something really cheesy or if you're wanting something a little more um, smoky, sweet barbecue, then um, you can't go wrong with either one of them. They're good. Hmm. I think they're both really good. I think um, for $2, I think you're getting a decent amount of chicken. I mean, it's not huge, but it's uh, it's not a bad amount of chicken and the sauce and stuff is pretty decent too. So it's not bad. Again, it's only $2. So, you know, what do you expect? The, um, I would rate those probably a four out of five. They are good. They're, they are kind of small, but but they don't cost that much either. So you got to balance all that stuff out. Um, I think they're, they're well worth trying out uh, on your own if you want to. Um, I don't know, you might think they're too small to worry about. So this one is the um, garlic butter bacon cheeseburger. And it is a beef patty topped with creamy garlic butter, American cheese, crispy bacon, mayo, grilled onions on a toasted bakery bun. Um, and if you want to know, it was 6.99, like I said, this is 920 calories. Each one of those wraps, the hickory was 440. And the cheesy Baja was 500 calories. You eat the whole thing. So I like it that they really put a lot of bacon on there. I mean, look at all the bacon. Um, and it does look like you get some, I don't know if that's the mayo or the garlic butter. It's hard to say. Because garlic butter would probably, I would think, would just melt off. But here we go. Hoping I'd actually taste the garlic. Because I love garlic butter. Definitely tastes different than a regular burger. Honestly, the flavor I just now got was was mostly the grilled onions. Hmm. It's good. I do like it. Um, I like the texture of the burger. Tons of cheese on here. Um, you get the, the onion flavor. You get the bacon flavor. Um, the one thing I'm missing is a really strong garlic flavor. Although I'm getting a little bit of garlic, I wish there's a little bit more on there. I'm trying to kind of work my way to the center. I'm guessing 
that's where they put most of the garlic was right in the middle of the burger but that was dead center I do like it quite a bit and I do get a little bit of a garlic flavor for me I don't know if they were trying to play it of course it could be just my location too but I don't know if they were playing it a little safe and not putting quite as much garlic as I would have liked or my location just didn't put a lot on there I don't it's hard to say I do get a little bit of the garlic flavor but like I said it's kind of overwhelmed with the garlic flavor I mean not the garlic the onion flavor the onion really takes over the garlic flavor there you go um but I do get that really creamy texture of the cheese. It's got tons of cheese on it. The bacon, you get that crispy kind of tougher texture of the bacon. Uh, the really um, juicy burger, you get that. Um, the onions are not hard, but they're still got a little bit of crunch to them and they're good and fried. This reminds me more of like a, um, a burger melt. So if you ever had a burger melt, it's usually usually it's made out of Texas toast, like a flat piece of toast. And it's got a burger with grilled onions on it. And then you put cheese on top of that. And like I said, it's used on a Texas toast, although you can get it on a bun. I used to make thousands of those back when I worked at a restaurant. This tastes more like a, uh, one of those, a melt, than it does a garlic burger. Because I really get, like I said, more of the grilled onion flavor than I do the actual um, garlic. I get more onion out of anything. Or I get more onion than anything out of this. Good burger though. I like the burger. I like the flavor of it. I just wish they'd been a little um wish they'd been a little braver on the garlic because I really I wanted to taste the garlic. Um, they could have even grilled the onions in garlic butter. That would have been really good. It's pretty decent. Alright, now for the the Oreo Big Scoop Cheesecake Sunday. Yeah, again, $3.99, 570 calories if you eat the whole thing. It is, says it is creamy vanilla soft serve layered with Oreo cookie pieces and topped with a big scoop of Oreo cheesecake. And it was. It's got a big scoop. I've had it in the shade so it won't melt. Right there on the side, there's a big scoop of, uh, of Oreo right there. Can you even see that? I'm getting a reflection on my screen. Right there. You can see the cheesecake right there. Um, I'm going to leave it in this little lid. They did give me a spoon, which is nice. I say that only because some places just don't give you utensils. You get something, and they say, heck with it. Eat with your fingers. We don't care. This one, they actually did give me some utensils. Um, I'm going to try it without the cheesecake first. I'm guessing it's just going to be, like they said, vanilla with some Oreo, which is fine. I like Oreo and vanilla. Really super soft um, ice cream, too. Really good flavor. I like that. And yeah, now let's try it with some cheesecake. It definitely adds a little bit more of a that cheesecake flavor to it. Yeah, you can really see that cheesecake. Um, yeah, the cheesecake really comes through with that. I wish they'd given you, they said layered with Oreos. Really, I'm getting a few Oreos on the top and they've got a few kind of mixed in, but most of them are just on top. The good thing is, um, the cheesecake is soft. So you can get your spoon in it really nice. I wonder. That's pretty good. I wonder what just the cheesecake tastes like. Tastes like cheesecake with a little bit of Oreo in there. I like that. I haven't had a Sunday in ages. Where you just get a spoon and dig in. I mean, it's literally been in ages and ages and ages. I don't think you probably get enough cheesecake to eat a bite of cheesecake with each bite of ice cream because I think there's a lot more ice cream here. You know? It is what it says it is. It's exactly what it says it is. It's it's vanilla ice cream with Oreos and a little scoop of uh, of cheesecake. I think they did a good job on it. Hmm. 
I enjoy that. You put the lid back on. I have your spoon. Um, I think everything here was good. I think the wraps are one of those things you're just going to have to kind of judge for yourself whether they're worth the money. I think for $2, they're pretty good because I've had them from like KFC and stuff like that and they're just as small. I mean, this tiny little piece of chicken. I actually think I got more chicken with this and I swear this chicken was crispier than what KFC had. So go figure. Um, I really did like the cheesy one the best for me personally, but I did like the barbecue too because it was a good, like I said, sweet and smoky barbecue. So I'm going to stick with a four for those. The burger, for a burger, I would give it a four and a half. Not the best burger ever, but it's really, really good. I do like the flavor of the burger. For it to be a garlic butter burger, I'm going to have to give it a four out of five because it really doesn't have enough of that garlic flavor to say it's garlic butter. Um, like I said, you do get a little bit of it, but it's really overwhelmed with the garlic, with the uh, onions. And the shea, and the um, the sundae, I really do like the sundae. I wish it had some more Oreos in it, but um, but I do like the flavor of it. I do like the cheesecake. It's a scoop, just a, like a like a cookie scoop of cheesecake. Um, I do like the flavor of the cheesecake, and it goes really well with the with the milk, with the ice cream and the Oreos. So um, you know, if they'd given me more Oreos, I probably would have given it a four and a half. But I'm gonna give it a four as well. So everything here is a four. Um, it's still really good. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, that burger is a good burger regardless. Uh, if you get the garlic or not, I really do enjoy it. I just wish the garlic was stronger for me. You might get one that has tons of garlic sauce on it, or the garlic butter on it. So uh, you might think it's too strong. Who knows? Um, so anyway, good prices, pretty decent food. I do like the flavors of everything. Um, yeah, you're just gonna have to try it yourself. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.